we're going to look at two premises and then decide if the conclusion is going to be true or false or unable to be determined. This one is super abstract, so whenever they're more abstract, to me, they seem uh, more tricky. So we're going to go ahead and br highlight this. Now we've seen a lot of ands and ors in this chapter. This particular premise, all instances of solidity and figure are. So what that means is really this right here, all instances of solid solidity and figure, that's one phrase. And it's saying that all of them are primary qualities of objects. So let's go ahead and diagram out what this means. So it says all of them are. So I'm just going to shortcut this to instances right here instead of writing out all of this. So if we think of instances, all instances are primary qualities. So I'm just going to shortcut this last one to be primary. So here's all of our instances. All of them are primary. And our second premise, it says no primary qualities of objects are. So let's go ahead and use the same, well, let me change the color of the highlighter. So this is actually quite the opposite. This is none or no primary are secondary. So if you have a primary quality, you, none of them are secondary qualities. So secondary qualities are disjoint or completely separate from primary. And now we're ready to analyze the conclusion. Let's go ahead and highlight in another color. So no secondary qualities are instances And let's look at where the secondary qualities are. They're all here. Is it true that none, it says no or none, are instances? Whereas instances, it's way over here, completely separate. So this conclusion has to be true. And you could think of it as if there is a secondary uh, quality, there's no way that it's going to be inside instances because they're disjoint.